Kia ora, good morning. It is Thursday. I am Mike from Markets, and this is Kiwi Bank Markets in a minute. Or two. Probably two. Okay, there was a fair bit going on overnight. Uh, very quick summary. Quick ish summary. Uh, global equities are mildly to modestly lower across the board. Losses everywhere, but none exceeding 1%. Mild to modest. Yeah. Uh, commodities, they're a bit of a mixed bag, but notable movers were oil. That lost another 1% on top of yesterday's almost 4%. Uh, gold went the other way, up 1.2% didn't quite hit a new recent high, but it is holding near a six-year high struck late last month. So, just a lot of love for gold at the moment. Not a lot of love for the US dollar. The greenback struggled overnight. Uh, the New Zealand dollar, though, that was overflowing with love. Top performing currency had a high of 67.47 US cents and made minor, miles, minor milestones against the major Kiwi crosses. Kiwi Aussie, for example, one New Zealand dollar that'll buy you 0.96 Australian dollary dues this morning, or thereabouts. Drivers, right, uh, data earnings and concerns over US-China trade. So working backward through that list, uh, we talked to US-China yesterday, or wrote about it, something, it all sort of blurs together. Anyway, uh, really more of the same. Heightened concerns that additional import tariffs may be imposed by the US. Uh, corporate earnings, another mixed bag, but the meat and potatoes there is that corporates are nervous about their short-term prospects because, amongst other things, US-China trade war and uh, and everything that that brings. So, yeah, not exactly a risk-positive theme there either. Uh, and data, right, we had a truckload of statistics relating to the US housing sector, and they were disappointing, in a word. Uh, also on the data front, see uh, <laughs> UK CPI, that ticked along, it's ticking along nicely at a healthy 2%. Good for you, UK. If it wasn't for all that Brexit stuff you've got going on, you'd be the envy of major economies everywhere with your on-target inflation. Yeah. Uh, right, in first hand this morning, we will go into a bit more detail on some of that stuff I just talked about. Uh, oh, and we will also take a look at Chinese holdings on US government debt. Bit of sizzle there, if foreign holdings of sovereign debt is a wheel spinner for you. And if it's not, maybe it should be, and this could be a good place to kick off your love affair with that. Yeah. Okay, uh, happy Thursday. Kakite.